Hi, Crafty Patty here. I will be making another macrame wall hanging and I'm choosing to have thick cord. And as you've probably noticed, when you go looking for beads, most of them come with a very, very small hole. So I've chosen to make my own beads and then I can increase the size of the hole, making it very easy to place two pieces of larger cord and there I've got my bead. This way you can choose any different colors that you want. I'm using cardstock to make these beads with. And here's some beads that I've already completed. So stay tuned and I'm gonna show you how to make these. Supplies that you will need for making your beads is a cutting board, an omni grid ruler or just a plain metal ruler. I'm using a rotary cutter, the cardstock in the color of your choice, glue stick, and you can use whatever you like for this different size of hole you want for the inside of your bead. I actually use a number 9 US or 5.5 millimeter needle is what I used. There's the size of the bead and there's the size of the hole. And you'll need a pencil for drawing up your markings on your cardstock. When you've got all your strips cut out, you'll be using some scrap piece of paper to add your glue to your strips. I'm using a couple candy jars. I just like candy jars because they've got some weight to them and they don't fall over. I'm using a couple of elastics on the ends so the beads will stay on when I'm drying. And a wooden bamboo skewer. Mod Podge for the final coat on the beads. And of course the paintbrush to put the Mod Podge on with. And I like to use some baby wipes so I can just clean off any glue residue to keep the my working surface nice and clean and just have some paper towel that you can wipe it off with. Let's match it up to our grid lines so it's good and even. And what I'm going to be using is my half inch marks all the way along. So here's my half inch. So make those marks all the way along your paper. Now flip it to the other end, match it up again so your cardstock is right against that line. And now we're going to find our quarter inch marks and make a line all the way along. Now we're going to flip our paper the other way. So there's our half inch mark and there's our quarter inch mark. So your first line will be from the very corner to the quarter inch mark. Now you can cut right away with your rotary, rotary cutter, if you're comfortable doing that. That would be your first cut. This will get thrown away. But if you're not comfortable with that, you can always draw on your lines. So this one was the large end, so we're just going to pivot and bring it down to the half inch on this side and keep it very, very close to a, very, to a nice sharp point on this side and you can draw your line. Now we're this way, pivot down this way now. There's your next line. Now pivot the other way. And keep going like that you can see how you've got one two three 
can either draw your lines all the way through your paper or like I said if you're comfortable just cutting them that'll save you a bit of time and you can just keep cutting. A little trick is just pull that up so you can have that as a guide. You know that that's your big end so you know that this end has to be the small end. So pivot down and cut. Continue for your whole piece of cardstock. Now cutting my last piece. There's my last pivot. And throw this piece away. And there we have lots of uh, strips for making our beads. So we'll take one of our pieces of paper that we've cut and I'm just going to actually put glue on the whole length of it. So once you've got your piece of paper nicely glued with the glue stick, place it behind, wrap it around your needle and you want to have it so this is parallel to the piece of paper. If you go and start rolling crooked, it's going to form a crooked bead. So you want to make sure it's straight. And then once you've got it straight, you're going to pull this quite tightly and bring it up and over. Okay, so once you've got it up and over and it's nice and tight, continue to roll now. And we're trying to keep it centered. Of course, I'm trying to view this in my iPad camera while I'm rolling it, which is a little bit difficult, but I'll do my best because I want to make sure I'm still in the view. And just keep rolling to you get to that end. And you're just trying to keep it centered. And just come in and put a little bit more glue on the end. There we have our first bead. Let's pull it off. Now we've got a bead with a nice big hole in it. Let's do a, another one in green. Use the glue all the way up. Again, wrapping it around, making sure it's horizontal the piece of paper and then bring it around as tight as you can and then start rolling. Some of the beads might not come out perfect. That's okay. It looks a little bit more organic and it looks homemade. We don't really want everything perfect in the world, do we? And when you get to the end, just come in and put just a little bit more glue stick on the top just to make sure it stays together. And there we have bead number two. When you've got your beads made, I'm just going to just add an elastic to the end. It just helps to hold the beads on so they don't fall off. And 
and then thread your beads on the skewer. Notice this bead here, it didn't come out even, but I like the shaping of it. And put your elastic on the other end just to hold them in place. You can set up your candy jars. The elastic just holds in place against the jar. Gives it a little bit more stability. So now we've got an area that we can actually now come in and glaze our beads. So I'm going to be using the Mod Podge Water-Based Sealer Glue and Finish. This is what I'm going to be using because this is just for a macrame project and I'm not too worried about it. You know, it's not going to be jewelry or anything. I'm selling like that. So for macrame hanging, it will work just fine. So I'm just going to dip my brush into some Mod Podge and I'm just going to brush it on using my finger to guide the bead around. That one's done and on to the next one. The Mod Podge will help to hold the little ends in place as well. And continue on with the rest of your beads. Once you've coated them all with the Mod Podge, just give them a little bit of a move so they're not sticking to the, the stick. to clean off your knitting needle. I'm sure if you go to use the knitting needles again and they're all sticky, you're gonna be going, oh, that crafty patty. What did she get me to do? But now it's all clean. So these have been drying for about oh, 10, 15 minutes and they're just fine. They're not tacky at all. So I'm gonna take my elastic off. And here's some of my beads that I've made. I'm loving them. I love the colors and they will match my macrame wall hanging that I'm going to be making shortly. So I hope you enjoyed that and stay tuned on to my Crafty Patty channel because then you can see how these beads are going to look in that macrame wall hanging. That'll be another video coming up shortly. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.